At the 80th birthday celebration and book launch of the Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja, His Eminence John Cardinal Onayeko. Dignitaries from all works of life, including the Senate President, Senator Godswill Apabiu, former Head of State General Yakubu Gowon, Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general elections, Mr. Pisa Obi, amongst many others, graced the occasion. The Senate President, Mr. Pabu, has a message for all Nigerians. Karina Onaiko Foundation encapsulates and concludes what we are here to do. I'm quoting from it. We celebrate you, great compatriot, a man of honor, an apostle of peace, true prophet of our time, indefatigable advocate of justice, a beacon of hope, humble servant of God, giant of our generation, jewel of inestimable value, a rare creation of God, and a prince of the church of God. In other words, a prince of Christendom, His Eminence, Cardinal Onaiko. Cardinal Onaiko's leadership and ministry have been marked by resolute pursuit of justice and equality. In the face of injustice, he has been a tireless advocate for the marginalized and the voiceless. His Eminence has taught us that true leadership lies not in the pursuit of power, but in the relentless pursuit of justice and the untiring commitment to uplifting the spirit of the most vulnerable amongst us. But it is not just his actions that inspire us. It is his words that resonate constantly in our hearts. His eminence possesses a rare gift of eloquence and a profound ability to unite people from all walks of life. Even though sometimes, for those of us who are politicians, when he starts speaking, we hold our breath. His words have the power to heal, to bridge divides, and to ignite the flames of hope in even the darkest of times. His sermons have touched the hearts of millions, reminding us of our shared humanity and the inherent dignity that resides within each and every one of us. While giving a toast for the occasion, so General Gowon lists the virtues of the celebrant and urges Nigerians to emulate him. At 80, Cardinal Onaiko stands as a shining example of grace and resilience. His commitment to justice and peace has inspired all and his unwavering pursuit of unity and dialogue among uh, different religious communities is testimony to his deep understanding of the values that binds us as human beings. The Cardinal has lived through a fascinating period in the history of Nigeria and indeed of the world. The celebrant then cuts his cake. At this point, Your Eminence, a hand on that knife, the celebration knife. I know you like the hat. Yes, it's a replica of the one that God has ordained you with. Overwhelmed by the show of support, the celebrant vows to continue preaching peace and unity. At 8 o'clock on Monday, the 29th of uh, January, I was with the Holy Father Pope Francis in the Apostolic Palace. I went with a group of seven pe young people, priests and people, and after Pope had greeted them and took photographs, they all went out and I was left alone with Francis in his library just to tell him how grateful I am that the Church of God has been very good to me, and he himself too has been good to me, and to reassure him that we love him in Nigeria and in Africa, 
that we thank him for all the time he makes reference to our country when we're in trouble to assure us of his prayer and his concern. It was nice to spend those 15 minutes with him and I told him bye bye, I'm now 80, I've done all my job because at 80 you finish with all the work you have in Rome. I'm no longer a member of any congregation although I'm still a cardinal until God calls me back home. And uh, uh, he gave me he gave me his blessing direct, not in the paper, direct on my head. And I told him, you should please bless my people in Nigeria. I told him about this occasion and about what is going to happen on the on Saturday during the mass. He says he, he gives me gives his blessings to all of you. He is 86 and not as strong as I am, obviously, but he is still very active and his mind is clear. Please, those of you who are Catholics, and even those of you who are not Catholics, keep him in your prayers so that he can continue to do the work that God has given him. Thank you, my brothers. This is a surprise for me. At least I put this on my table now to remind me of what has actually happened. May the Lord God bless all of you. The second session of the celebration is the presentation of a book in his honor. The Senate's president unveils the book, which is a compendium of his thoughts. If you read here, you will see a lot of mixed grief for interreligious dialogue and ecumenism. That is what is in these 15 chapters. No dumb moment. Simple, stranger, to the point. But very, very, very educative. So, ladies and gentlemen, I commend this book for the reading public, not only for Catholics, not only for Christians, but for all faiths, all faiths, because it has an interreligious book of faith, Christians, Muslims, and traditional list. this book is all for you. So we dedicate this book that we are about to present to you in Jesus' name. Auto de Jesus Christ. So, we have done the unveiling in Jesus' name. One book each. Or more. Yeah. Ask one ever for the foundation and for the book as well. Because uh, I think proceeds will go to the foundation. Uh -huh. so the chairman of the foundation is there. so of the foundation, fantastic. Yeah, Excellency, and His Eminence, Cardinal Onaiko, we are happy with this religion for peace. Yeah, for peace for the last 80 years, and the last four years on earth. We are delighted with this peace that we have given to a world. And all of us are here to support and to launch uh, the book. Dignitaries speak on the contributions of the Cardinal to the society. On behalf of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja and the Cardinal Lonaikon Foundation for Peace, it is my profound honor to extend a very warm welcome. Our presence here today is not merely a testament to the high regard in which we all hold his eminence, but also the shared vision of a peaceful and just society that he has tirelessly worked to foster. Under the esteemed chairmanship of Senior Council at Fabio GCON, whose remarkable dedication to service and leadership continues to inspire many, we are set to embark on a day's journey of celebration and reflection. To our guest, your contributions and support have been instrumental in making this event possible. And to, the, to our audience, both here and afar, your enthusiasm to partake in today's celebration speaks volumes of the communal spirit we cherish in our beloved country, Nigeria. His eminence has been the human equivalent of a blazing torch, always spiritually ablaze to keep the rest of us safe. He literally sets himself on fire to keep the rest of us warm. Borrowing from the website of the Cardinal Onayekon Foundation for Peace, in the past decades, John Cardinal Onayekon has become 
a historic reference point in matters of intra and interreligious dialogue and leadership. Its professionalism in this field is regularly sought after both locally and internationally, and this has earned him recognitions and many esteemed awards and laurels. He has taught around the world, delivering lectures at prestigious institutions as well as high-level conferences on global justice, peace, and human development. We are here to celebrate a man of peace, a man of ideas, a man who has contributed in no small measure to the cooperation of all major religions. And it's coming at a time when we're experiencing religious extremism in some part of the country, whether in the northern part of the country or in the southern part of the country. So aside from the fact that we're celebrating the values he represents, John Cardinal Onaikon, created in 2012, is a good man. John Cardinal Onaikon, in fact, looking by the books that we are launching today, Interreligious Tolerance, you can see that he's a man of peace. He brought a lot of understanding into Christianity in Abuja and the Abuja Archdiocese. John Cardinal Odaikon was ordained as a priest in 1969 at the age of 25 and became the youngest auxiliary bishop of Ilori at the age of 38. He resigned as the Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja in 2019. Dili Omoyeni, Channels Television News.